Most of us don't put much thought into where animals originated from. Ireland has always been a place that fascinates me and I would love to visit there someday. Now when I think of Ireland, I think of grassy hills and sheep on a mountain. This got me thinking, are sheep really from Ireland? Well, we're about to find out. I think the obvious, when I think about animals that originated in Ireland, the Irish Setter, the Irish Water Spaniel, and the Irish Hare, all because they have Irish in the name. Now, the Irish Setter can be traced back to the 18th century in Ireland. They are a cross between the Pointer, the Spaniel, and the Setters, <clears throat> creating the perfect bird dog to assist hunter in retrieving their kills. I'm less familiar with the Irish Water Spaniel, but these dogs can be traced back to the 17th century in Ireland. Commonly mistaken for a poodle because of their vast curly hair, which happens to be water resistant. The water resistance comes in handy when they are retrieving waterfowl that their companions, hunters, killed. Like the setter, these dogs are born to work alongside of hunters. The Galloway sheep up until 1990 were exclusive to Ireland where they appeared in the 1800s. Currently, this type of sheep is on the endangered livestock list where only about 2,000 remain. The Galloways landed on the endangered list because gourmet chefs love their meat. Galloways gained popularity in Ireland because of their white wool and their agility to climb mountainsides where they remain today. Although the common lizard can be found across the UK, it's unique in that it's the only reptile from Ireland. Ireland's grassy hillsides make perfect living conditions for this lizard. The common lizard is also birthed alive and not hatched from an egg, which makes it extremely unique in the reptile world. Once again, the name gives away the origin of this little guy, the Irish hare. Ireland is home to two other lagomorphs, but this guy is the only one native to Ireland. His, uh, the hare can be traced back to some time during the Flexocene period. Luckily, we won't be seeing these guys disappear anytime soon as they've been on the protected species list since 1930. Known for its vast mountains and bombarded by fierce storms is Southwest Ireland, referred to as Kalmara. It takes a agility and strength to live in this condition. This describes the Kalmara pony to a T. These guys were brought to Ireland by the Celtic warriors roughly 2,500 years ago. Farming was a way of life for the people of Ireland. Most could only afford one pony to handle the workload. These guys can be found all over the world now. Another pony native to Ireland is the Kerrybog. Similar in size is the Shetland Pony. The Kerrybog gets its name from County Kerry, which is in southwest Ireland. This guy, little guy is used to carry peat from the local box. Sadly, many lost their lives when during the time of war used by the British Calvaries. Between the war, the Irish famine, and the Industrial Revolution, the demand for the pony decreased, and so did their numbers. One guy has been on a mission to save them. In 1994, he had the last 20 ponies shipped to his stables, where he has slowly been breeding them to increase their population. The last animal I want to talk about is the moiled cow. These guys are the last survivors of domestic livestock from Northern Ireland. The moyles have, can be dated back to 640 A.D. Simply amazing. Unfortunately, just like all the other livestock we've talked about from Ireland, these two are endangered. In 1970, they were put on the endangered species list when only 30 remained. I don't find it too surprising that many of the animals that originated from Ireland are livestock and dogs, as the grassy fields were ideal for harmer, farmers and hunters, <laughs> and these animals were a necessity. Sources can be found at mammalsinfo.ireland, Dog Time, International Museum of the Horse, Irish Mold Kyle Society, the Wildlife Trust, and Tree Pony. These are all online sources.